later. I'm going to hit record here so that our friends can watch it later. All right, so my name is Monica and we're going to talk today. I'm so excited to talk to you guys today. Uh, we're going to talk about reptiles today and snakes. And I even brought some friends that are going to join us here in a little bit after we get done with our book. They're, they're over here taking a nap right now. And so I couldn't find a really good snake book. So we're going to just do a reptile book today. So we're just going to talk about all different kinds of reptiles. All right. And so this book is by Jill McDonald. And so we're going to go ahead and start reading about reptiles. Are you guys excited? Thumbs up if you're excited. Thumbs down if you're not excited. Yay. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. All right. So this book is called Reptiles by Jill McDonald. All right. What animals have lived on earth for over 300 million years? They're covered in scales and they're cold blooded. Do you guys know? They're reptiles. Learn about this crawly crew, including snakes, lizards, turtles, tortoises, crocodiles, and alligators. All right, look at all those different types of reptiles. That's a crocodile and we have tortoises and snakes and iguanas. Oh, I'm so excited. I love reptiles. All right. So snakes come in lots of colors and sizes. They don't have arms or legs. To move, they slither from side to side. All right. I see a green snake and I see a blue snake and an orange snake and a black snake. Do you guys like snakes? Yeah, I love snakes. All right. The black mamba is one of the fastest snakes in the world. Can you point to the sharp fangs? Careful. All right. Do you guys see his really sharp fangs here? All right. Rattle, rattle. What's that noise? When a rattlesnake shakes its tail, it makes a rattling noise to tell its enemies to back off. All right, you guys see his rattle right here? Do we have rattlesnakes in Nebraska? We do have rattlesnakes. Look at all his pretty colors that he has too. The green tree python spends most of its time coiled over a branch. Its color allows it to hide in trees without being seen. Look at how pretty he is. All right, a king cobra flares out its hood on the sides of its head when it feels threatened. It makes the snake bigger to scare off predators. The garter snake lives in forests, meadows, marshes, and gardens in North America. In winter, it hibernates, sleeping in caves and underground dens. We have garter snakes in Nebraska. They look kind of like this. They have stripes on their back and they sleep underground. All right. A chameleon is a very colorful lizard. It can change its color to pink, red, orange, blue, green, brown, black, yellow, and purple. What color would you choose if you were a chameleon? I think I would choose purple. I want to be a purple reptile. So geckos are great climbers. Their sticky toes help them go almost anywhere. They also have a tail that can grow back if it breaks off. Do you guys wish you had a tail that if it broke, it would grow back? That would be kind of neat. All right. The flying dragon lizard has flaps of skin on each side of its body. The flaps act like wings as this lizard sails from tree to tree. Ooh, look at these. Alligators and crocodiles have strong jaws, tough and scaly skin. Their powerful tail helps them move quickly through water. Do we have alligators in Nebraska? 
No, we don't. They're way too big. All right. Turtles and tortoises have hard shells on their back. Tortoises live on land and turtles live mostly in the water. Do we have tortoises in Nebraska? Nope. Do we have turtles in Nebraska? Yeah, we do. I'm gonna actually show you guys a turtle here in a little bit. All right. The marine iguana can take a deep dive. It swims in water to feed on algae and seaweed. On land, it likes to bask in the sun. Reptiles are really cool. And there are over 10,000 different types of reptiles. Which one is your favorite? All right, so that was our book that we're going to read today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of my reptile friends that are joining me today. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one of them first. And he has the coolest name. It is a superhero name and his name is Batman. His name's Batman and he is a turtle. He is called a box turtle. All right. And he's kind of shy. So let's see if he'll come out of his show for you guys. Do you see him? Oh, there he goes. So do you guys think that turtles, do they have teeth? Like we do, do they have teeth? No, they don't, do they? So he has a beak, kind of like a bird, and it's really sharp. So when he bites into something, he can break it apart and swallow it. He also has these really long things. What are these? Do you guys know what those are? Those are claws. What do you think he uses those claws for? Let's see, can we? You guys can, I think you can talk now, if you guys want to. Do you know what these claws are used for? What do you think he uses them for? To drink. To what? Can you say it louder? To drink. To swim. To so swim. Oh, that's a good guess. But he lives in the sand. So what do you guys think he will do with those claws then if he lives in the sand? To walk. He does, that's how he walks. Good, what else do you think he does with those claws? What do you guys like? Eat? What do you say? Eat? To eat. To eat, yeah, he would eat in the sand. He uses his claws to dig up food that he would like to eat. What else do you think he does? What if it was a girl turtle? What do you think she does? Play eggs? Good, she'll lay eggs. So if this was a girl turtle, she'll lay eggs in the sand and she will use her claws to dig her nest. Can you guys, I know it might be kind of hard to see, but can you guys see his eyes? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys see what color his eyes are? Red and black. Yeah, they're red. Why do you think he has red eyes? I just red eyes. So he has red eyes because he is a boy box turtle. So girl box turtles are going to have gold eyes or kind of green colored eyes, but boys are going to have red eyes. All right. What do you guys think that he would eat? What do you think he would eat? Bits. Bugs, did you say? Bits. Fish. Fish. Fish? Ooh, no fish. Remember, he lives in the sand. So what do you think? Bugs. Of bugs, good. He does like bugs. Have you guys ever eaten a banana before? Yeah. I eat a lot. I eat a lot of bananas. Maybe. So you know what? So does he. Don't, I'm Love afraid he'll tip that over. Don't and strawberries that. and watermelon, but he also likes fruit. 
or he also likes carrots and tomatoes. So he eats fruits and vegetables just like we do. But he also likes bugs and worms and crickets and spiders. So he eats lots of different types of food. All right, I'm gonna show you guys that one time. And then I'm gonna put him away and get another friend out. Oh, do you wanna see another friend? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Does anyone wanna guess what my next animal is gonna be? Yeah. Let me give you guys a hint. He has no arms and no legs. What is that? Uh huh. It's a snake. All right, and this is my favorite kind of snake. His name is Dexter, and he is a hognose snake. Oh, you guys can see him. Mommy, your snake. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can I see his tongue sticking out? What's his tongue? What is he doing with his tongue? I don't know. He's moving it out, up and down. Yeah, he's moving his tongue in and out and up and down. So every time he sticks his tongue out, he's smelling. We use our nose to smell, but snakes use their tongue to smell. All right. Do you guys know what all these little circles are called on a reptile. Do you guys know what those are called? Good. Good scale. So all snakes and turtles and crocodiles and geckos and alligators, they're going to have scales. All these tiny little circles, those are called scales. And that protects his body. What do you guys think that he would eat? Do you have any guesses on what he would like to eat? Snakes. Ladybugs. Ladybugs? Maybe yeah. some ladybugs. Crickets? Crickets? He could eat a cricket. He also likes to eat mice and frogs and toads. He loves oh. frogs and toads. Toad. Oh, his tongue. Yeah. It's another girl like you. All right. So he's not very big, is he? He's not very big. He's just little. So I have one more animal that I'm going to show you guys. Do you want to guess what this next animal is going to be? She's going to show you. One more animal for you guys. All right. Let me get him out. So his name is Petey, and Petey is called a Western fox snake. So he's just a little bit bigger than, De or than uh, Dexter was, but he is also a snake. He looks a lot different, doesn't he? Uh -huh. Color is different, and he has a black. black. Oh. All right, and you want to know something really cool is that he can climb trees. Oh. How do I think he climbs a tree with no arms and no legs? Um, by drifting up there? Yeah, he just slithers up there. He uses all his muscles to slither and climb up that tree. Yeah, what do you eat in a tree? How does he eat in a tree? How does he eat in a tree? He will open his mouth really, really wide and he will swallow his food whole. So he loves to eat things like tree frogs and mice. Right. Maybe squirrel and birds and eggs. So lots of different types of foods. Ooh. All right. I'm going to have to be. All right. So that is all of our friends that I have for you guys today.
But thank you so much for hanging out with us. And if you guys join us next week, we'll be talking about bats. We'll be talking about bats. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. We'll see you next week, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Yeah.